I started going to school there at, at a young age. I think I was about five or six years old when I started to uh, attend Sister Claire Muhammad School in North New Jersey. And, and I tell you right now, there wasn't many of us. There was about 15 or 20 of us that was going to school there at the time. And I think for me, at a young age, uh, part of me, part of me saw it as like, ah, you know, why am I, why, why am I going to school here? And, you know, and, and because I was always into sports and I always went to do other things. But I think without Islam and the way that it has helped and shaped my life, uh, and it's helped shape me into the brother that I am today. Um, it was very important to kind of receive that structure and um, that consistency. And I think sometimes that is overlooked and how important it was for me and how it impacted my life and kind of how it shaped me into uh, who I am today. And um, I don't regret any of it. And, and I enjoy my experience there. And, and just to talk a little bit about where I am now, um, right now, I, I do have a background in education. Um, as I've worked in the, the private the private school system myself, and I've, I've also worked in uh, in the public school system myself, and uh, now I find myself being an entrepreneur also. But just to give you some structure and just an idea, um, I think the biggest impact, like I said, for me about t attending Sister Claire Muhammad School was um, I grew up without a father. Uh, my father actually was killed when I was one years old. Uh, so I never really had that manly structure in my home. So being able to, to attend Claire Bahamas school and be around brothers and being able to get the respect from the women that were in the master, uh, you know, just as far as how I needed to treat women and how I needed to respect the belts and, and those to whom were charged charging authority, I think was very important for me. And uh, it helped kind of shape and mold me into who I am today. Um, and I think without that experience, I don't know where I would be, um, but I did truly, truly enjoy my experience there. And um, it was really one of, you know, I think one of the best experience that really helped to shape mold my life. And I think that it was, you know, one of the greatest teachers that I ever had um, throughout my, you know, schooling career. You know, I've attended, you know, uh, from Claire Muhammad, I went on to high school at Weekway High School in North New Jersey. And then I transferred out to high school in Indian, New Jersey. And then I went on to college. But I think, you know, through all those situations, it really kind of helped shape and mold me into the person I am today. And, you know, I'm a big firm believer in, in you know, opening the floor of questions. I, I heard the sister say that she didn't get a chance to ask many questions. And I don't know how many youth is on the call today or, how, you know, how many of us actually attended Claire Muhammad schools. But, you know, I love to hear some questions from you guys and, you know, just to kind of understand, you know, what we're seeking out of this conversation and what we can do next for Sister Claire Muhammad schools and how we can promote that these schools are important because I know what impact it had on me. I, I know how it helped shape me. I know how it helped save me from the streets, um, you know, choosing Islam and, you know, being involved in the Sister Claire Muhammad schools. I, you know, I, I, I think that, you know, it's part of, I think one, we need to be as one as a community, you know, I've seen a lot of charter school systems pop up in our communities. And I've seen the way that they kind of, you know, stuck together, you know, they, they started out with one school and then they had another. I think that we need to follow a system. You know, I think that we need to fall, we need to find a Sister Claire Muhammad school who's been successful in recruiting students and having students come to the schools. And we need to follow their philosophy. And we need to make sure that we as one, we, we are all Muslim, we are all brothers and sisters here. And, we need to figure out a strategy that we, 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 we can come up where we keep our youth in our communities, where we keep our youth after they transition through first through eighth grade, that where we say, hey, here's a high school where our youth can go, uh, where they're still having our, our morals and our goals uh, in, installed in their life. And, and I think that's what we got to come to. I think we all got to come to uh, an area in a sense where we are one, well, we are one. Well, we are saying, hey, this school did this and it was successful. Now, how do we implement it into another school? How do we implement it into a school in New Jersey? How do we implement it to a school in Atlanta or, or wherever we may be? So I, I think that is really the most important in this. And I think that's what we should really take from this. Seeing the youth at the other schools, they sing the song and they, and they recited things from, you know, 
uh, Malcolm X, you know, whether it be Imam W.D. Muhammad, and those are the things that we got to take and build upon. And I want to make sure that I myself and provide myself with a resource and I, I make sure I provide my contact information. And uh, before I let y'all go, I want to say thank you to Sister, Sister, Sister Tucker and Sister Naeem uh, for allowing me to be on this call. And I want to thank all the Muslims and all the youth that is on this call. And I want to let y'all know I'm representing Masjid Muhammad, 257 South Wanjavadu, North New Jersey. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs>